What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new video. And what we're going to be talking about today is the post update attack that everyone's using right now, that everyone's asking about, uh, is the Kill Squad Obo. And this is the attack, whether we're using two golems or one. I'll be showing you guys three different examples of why this attack is so effective in the new meta and what to look for and how to execute it. So what we're going to do is start off with this attack uh, from Rock, uh, taking on Movistar from Divine Justice, and we'll show you guys why he went ahead and used this attack strategy on this base. This is the attack you have got to have in your Town Hall 10 arsenal. Uh, post update so the first thing we're gonna do is pull up this where is it here we go okay first thing that we're gonna be doing is the funnel it's all about the funnel and what you get with your funnel the things you're looking at is eliminating any kind of splash defenses uh, trying to eliminate bomb towers obviously the enemy archer queen the king if you can get to him but it is not necessary. Uh, but yeah, if you can attack a base where you can set a nice funnel, break that defensive ring, which is the most important thing uh, that you need to do. Uh, what we're gonna do real quick, actually, let me go ahead and change this. There we go, that might be a little bit easier to see. So on this attack, what Rock is gonna be doing is he's gonna be breaking in, or excuse me, he's gonna be jumping in right here on this base, right here. There we go. So that's where he's gonna be dropping down his jump spell. Doesn't even need wall breakers for this attack. And you can see with this little inlet right here, uh, it does set up for a really nice funnel uh, to have all his bowlers and heroes meet up into that junction. So what he's gonna be doing is he's gonna be, he's gonna be dropping down his queen where she's gonna be heading this way, uh, where he's gonna be eliminating, again, not only setting the funnel, getting rid of all this trash down here, we will be taking out uh, this wizard tower, the town hall, and his queen is even going to make it over on that side. So we already know the right hand side has now been funneled. Uh, with the help of just a few wizards and dropping down his golems, uh, he's going to go ahead and pretty much wipe out this entire side right here. So ideally what you want to do is break the defensive ring and eliminate any defenses inside of the core because on an attack using hogs, you do not want your hogs to be splitting where you have some on the outside, uh, some on the inner defenses, and then some inside the court. You don't want that. You need your hogs to stay close together. That is where they are used most effectively. And then what he's gonna be doing is gonna be sending in his hogs over here on this side, uh, trickling his hogs all through here. They will be going uh, counterclockwise around this base. And we'll go ahead and hit play so you guys can see it um, but yeah, this is the attack you have got to have in your Town Hall 10 arsenal. And, and again, with the Inferno Towers being on single being on single target, for the most part, it does make hog attacks that much easier because these hogs can overwhelm these Inferno Towers. It, it's always a benefit if on your entry you can get at least one Inferno Tower down, um, but you, it is not necessary. And if the infer and if the base has single, or if the base has multi-target Inferno Towers, it makes it even easier because you can go ahead and heal the hogs right through that IT. So as we see, he does have one Golem down, similar to kind of doing a naked coon walk, even though, as you guys are gonna see, this is a damage CC coming out, uh, but with the help of two poisons, he doesn't even need to send his Archer Queen in with his kill squad. So look at this work. He's already completely funneled the right-hand side. Queen went ahead and took out the Wizard Tower. You'll know, see once the Archer Tower goes down, uh, she is going to actually path up and end up going around the base. So here we have one Golem down, Jump Spell already down, again, with just a few Wizards and his Bowlers, set a nice funnel, nowhere for his troops to go but inside of the base. So he does drop one jump, goes ahead and drops down another rage. Uh, that's pretty much your spell comp uh, that we're seeing right now for your kill squad. One jump, one rage, always bringing three heals for the hog portion. So starting his hogs off, um, so they directly target the Inferno Tower on the right hand side, sending in more hogs from the top. And you'll see they're all gonna kind of meet up right here. Uh, and notice his heal spell is covering all those point defenses. His kill squad, did not get the king. Like I said, 
you do not have to get the king in order uh, to have a successful uh, kill squad hobo. Uh, so again, goes in, drops down his second heal, uh, drops down one uh, one loon to go ahead and distract uh, that wizard tower for a little bit. But again, with one more heal spell in his arsenal, uh, you can go ahead and check this out. There we go. Uh, and last defense to go down that does anything is going to be the Inferno Tower. Uh, and even with that giant bomb right there, heal spell did cover some of it. And if you didn't notice, check this out, guys. His queen stayed up for the remainder of the raid. So again, for those of you wondering, with a damage CC, you do not necessarily have to send in uh, your archer queen with your kill squad. Rock recognized that. So not only did he use his queen to set the funnel, he used her uh, to take out defenses on the outside, and she ended up surviving the remainder of the attack. Now we'll go ahead and check out two more examples using Kill Squad Hobo. All right, guys, this is going to be the next base that we're going to dissect and explain what you're looking for in a base, knowing if this is going to be the best attack strategy for the base, whether it's uh, a CV Hobo bringing one Golem, or whether it's a Shattered Hobo bringing two Golems, which is exactly what Fuzz is going to be doing on this base. So it's all about value from your kill squad. You have to get a lot of value from this kill squad because you're investing so much in it. Uh, you know, 60 troop space for the golems alone, not to mention the funneling troops, the wall breakers, um, which Fuzz is bringing to this attack. So you have to have a equal amount of value bringing a heavy kill squad like that. So what he's gonna be doing is he's gonna be dropping down a golem from this angle, and a golem from this angle. And what that's gonna do when you're scouting these bases is you know he's gonna be distracting all of these defenses. The Archer Tower, the Expo, the Wizard Tower, this Archer Tower, this cannon, all these things are in range of those two golems. So you have to distract these defenses before you go ahead and drop your wizards to take out the trash. He will be dropping one baby dragon uh, to also help set the funnel um, on the bottom side. Uh, he will be wall breaking into this uh, 9 o'clock wall piece right here. And once the wall once the wall is popped and the mortar goes down, the more or the <laughs> the golems will route inside of the base where he's gonna go ahead and drop down his bowlers and his heroes. He does have one jump spell that will be going right there. And in this kill squad alone, he will be taking out these defenses. So again, talking about value. Uh, he'll be taking out two wizard towers, a pair of archer towers. Uh, he'll be taking out all three expos, a bomb tower, the enemy archer queen, and the enemy CC troops before he deploys a single hog. He will be dropping a few on this mortar right here. He will be dropping a few on this archer tower and also on this mortar. And they will be going around this base clockwise where he is going to have three heal spells uh, to keep them up and get that three star so we're gonna go ahead and hit play and watch exactly how fuzz breaks this base down uh, so what you're gonna see is these defenses getting distracted the moment he drops his bombs there they go uh, and you can clearly see the defenses are distracted you can go ahead and drop down a few wizards to take out the trash um, over on the upper left hand side of his funnel there goes the baby dragon and check this out this baby dragon right here uh is not only going to take out the archer tower he's even going to get the cannon so incredible value from that baby dragon uh and you'll see once he broke the wall drops down uh drop went ahead and dropped down his bowlers his heroes jump spell leading right into the core like i said you've got to take out those defenses inside the core nice delay leading rage uh, to make sure all those troops are raged up inside of the core and you'll see right here drops down a few hogs as the defenses are still distracted on the kill squad they go ahead and take out that mortar and here comes the majority of the hogs up here at the top of the base there goes uh, his cc hogs they're gonna go ahead and target that tesla right there once that air defense goes down he's gonna go ahead and drop down his heal spell distracting all the point defenses um and he did see that there were uh, some ground skellers went ahead and dropped the poison to go ahead and deal with them uh, single giant bomb uh, went ahead and dropped down one heal spell once the arch tower goes down uh, dropped the heal spell a little early once they once the arch tower went down they went ahead and healed them up uh, so good job there 
and you'll see right here has one more heal spell and look at what's left in the base guys just a few more defenses and he still has his archer queen ability left to deploy uh, so he'll just be using that for cleanup and again it's always crucial like i always say in all these hog videos you always want to start two if not three wizards behind um your initial group of hogs since you know those defenses are going to go down you want to get that cleanup down nice and early so now we'll go ahead and check out the third and final example using kill squad hogs post update all right guys this is going to be our third and final example uh so the first two attacks that we saw were using a shattered kill squad again meaning two golems this one's a little different this one we're going to use one golem meaning cold blooded aka cb hobo uh, so what we're going to be doing on this base and one thing you want to look at is or, or the first thing that should stand out to you is the wall layout right here how it's there's an indentation compared to the rest of the base uh, where you have a few flat edges uh, so this one, it's already kind of a natural funnel for your troops. Who will be dropping his golem on this archer tower that is on the outside. And you'll see um, he will be dropping one baby dragon up here at the top of the base. And he will be peppering a few wizards on either side. Um, and he is bringing... And the bowlers can range anywhere from 5 to 8, somewhere in there. Uh, but if you're going to be bringing more than 5 bowlers, you have got to have the value behind it. And with, uh, again, with this wall layout, remember every single base is different. Uh, with this wall layout, he does not need to bring any wall breakers. He's gonna go ahead and drop a nice jump spell right there. So with this kill squad, he's gonna take out the expo that you can kind of see-ish right there. Uh, he's gonna take out that expo. He's gonna take out this wizard tower. Obviously that archer tower is gonna be ripped. Uh, this cannon right here. And uh, even this bomb tower. So as you guys can see, actually we'll go ahead, we'll X that out so you guys can actually see the defenses. So all these defenses right here are going to be eliminated from his kill squad. So when he goes ahead and deploys his hogs up here at the top of the map, uh, there's nowhere for them to go uh, inside the core. They're gonna go ahead and again, as we see in this L-shaped fashion, um, he's going to break that defensive ring and you know exactly where these hogs are going to be headed. Uh, and again, with this kill squad only bringing one golem, he's going to be taking out both heroes. Uh, so it's all about base identification. And um, who was this? This was, I believe this was Cody who went ahead and got this 10v10. So we'll go ahead and see how Cody breaks this base down. Um, so again, starting with the wizard. On, don't forget about the builder huts either. Uh, definitely bring archers. You do not want to get hutted. That is very, very not good. So goes ahead and drops down one golem. Luckily enough, even is going to get a Tesla uh, that was on the outside uh, of that archer tower right there. Um, so right here, baby dragon up there at the top. That is going to be crucial to this attack. You can see there are no air targeting defenses uh, to go ahead and snipe that baby dragon out of the sky. So it gets really, really good value there. Uh, we do have another damage CC, the, the, a big dragon and a witch. Goes in and drops down his max poison to take care of that. Bowler's inside of the core doing work, and you can see he do, the enemy CC is down. Both heroes are down, and he still has that Archer Queen ability. Uh, so again, another thing you want to do is you want to start your kill, or you want to start your hogs while your kill squad is still up. You don't want your kill squad to completely be wiped out before you start your hogs. Uh, you're kind of getting a two-for-one trade because uh, the kill squad is still distracting defenses while you send your hogs in. Uh, second heal spell is down from the uh, the first one on the initial hog deployment. You can see it does drop second heal. And again, with just a few defenses left on the back end, he does still have one more heal spell. Uh, saved a couple hogs for that Tesla that was just below the town hall. And right there, that heal spell covers pretty much all of the remaining defenses uh, other than uh, the cannon and the archer tower on the back end. Save that poison uh, for the ground skellies uh, for you know the very, very end of the attack. So good job there, and you'll see even with these with these three point defenses, there was no splash at the end of the attack, um, and ends up getting the job done. And again, uh, cleanup. He does have a couple wizards, even brought a couple uh, minions to help out with this cleanup. But that is going to do it. That is clearly going to be a three star 
So it's all about your funnel and making sure you get value from that kill squad because you're investing so much uh, camp space into a kill squad. And if you can get to the core, grab that enemy queen, get rid of not only point defenses, but also those pesky bomb towers and wizard towers, bringing three heals for the hogs on the back end. We saw two shattered examples and we saw one cold-blooded example. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful in this post update uh, kill squad hobo attacks uh, and making sure you get a lot of value from those bowler bounces uh, especially under rage can be completely devastating at uh, town hall 10 right now hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you leave the video a like comments questions or concerns down in the comment section below and of course subscribe to the channel if you have not already as always this is Riggs from clashing ffs and i'll see you in the very next video.